So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to put the last couple streams into, uh, like, episode format, but basically I decided I'm going to take over the freaking desert as revenge for killing my owl. Um, after, of course, breeding up, uh, capturing and breeding up a couple new owls, these ones even have mutations, and then I went down, came over here, decided this was going to be my base, and I started building this place, and this appears to be my big project, I even know how I'm going to build it, I didn't before, and that's actually why I left it up like this, but I know where this is going to be, this, what that's going to look like now, and I got this... Both sides are, uh, I'll show you the, big, give you a big view first. Both sides essentially look like this right here, with a spot for two, uh, dinosaurs. A little thing for backpacks and shine horns and shit. And up top on both of the ledges is going to be a crafting station, one of two kind. Uh, this one has chemistry bench, refrigerator, and a, uh, what a freaking fabricator and then on the other side is pretty much just like your basic crafting stuff and some boxes you know just down, down, down. all right and then back way over here I I, I then have some more of my tech stuff industrial forge, a grinder, and industrial grill, plus a little house for myself that I really haven't quite stocked up yet, and I have no idea what I'm going to use this little corner for, I just thought it was really cool that I could make that I could make a little corner up here, you know? Couldn't quite do it over there, because, you know, it's, this one wouldn't reach out that far, but I could do it right here. I'm not sure what the hell's going to go here, though. Some kind of altar. Maybe. But. Anyway. That's what I've built so far. Probably going to try to bit, fill in some of these other ruin, uh, other parts of the castle. Over time. With uh, random rooms. And stuff of that sort. But yeah. Uh, as for this part right here. I'm going to show you what I'll build. And I'll update you periodically. In kind of video form, uh, with videos of it, uh, and just kind of edit those together to make my actual creation of the Library of Alexandria, the actual library part itself. Yep. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. before I show you this, before I update any of this, I actually have to show you down here, one of, one of the cooler parts. And only possible because of the way that I've added, uh, that the INI files are modified to give me access to, uh, the metal cliff platforms and the, um, uh, extendable rope ladder things. So right over here, this one, which fits really well with my turtle, and then another one right over here for what most people will actually have just right on top of boats, uh, rafts, or kind of like perfect size for this one. And then you just kind of take a ladder up. I chose ladders instead of elevators because frankly I didn't really want to power my way up every time. And I can all, and uh, since uh, Pokeballs are relatively easy to find in drops via, via the way this thing is modded, or this way the way the I and I is modded for this, I don't really need to transport animals up to eat too hard so yeah okay so uh yeah um finally got around to building this after i like built something else entirely but um so i got what is uh basically expanded out the foundations one more than the uh it totally was be than it was before and now it's a total of, let me see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 by 7. Though the roof itself is only going to be a 4 by uh, 7. And this right here is going to be kind of a underpinning um, structure at the top later. And then I built up my stairway right up here. I'm going to have a bunch of pillars going down here 
through here for decoration obviously I don't really need them but and then either I'm gonna put some uh, artifacts here or maybe some flags I really haven't decided which yet probably artifacts because they glow when they look cool I'll use whichever one's coolest and then yeah we'll start building up the actual house in a bit and then we'll throw on then I'll show you that and then I'll throw on the roof that's where things get a little more fun all right so next uh, the actual floor is up uh, right here and one of these uh, not sure where is gonna be replaced with the trap door that's gonna lead up into here because we have an entrance from each of our two sides going right down into the undercroft which is kind of mostly probably going to end up being storage and whatnot but I'll probably I'll have a ramp going up preferably be behind a display of some kind but we'll decide that after I actually you know put that up and then wait right here in the back basically just leads so that I can feed the animals really does nothing else to be honest um, but that was like the most convenient place to be able to find a trough that feeds most of the most of the whole of the animals in this entire area so works out and yep cool I'll see you in a few okay so as you can see we got a lot more done uh, basically essentially what went pillars up pillars up these obviously don't really support anything they're not even really connected to the ground they're just connected to this particular roof uh, going in here we've got a nice glass double doors and I just I really like the way glass looks as far as a on stone kind of thing right up in here and then right over here is where I place my hatch to go down to the bottom and then nice set of stairs D up here I'm probably gonna put a lot of like displays it's more of a museum though even though I call it a library it's more of a museum a uh, bunch of taxidermy things are gonna be here going upstairs I figured I'd show you like right as we were gonna put on the roof because that's the only thing really we have left this might go up one more just to meet up with the roof when, once it's fully in but at the same time it eh, doesn't really matter uh, might not might kind of phase through depending on exactly where this roof goes in and how it goes in so uh, topping it off you can kind of see how you do it what's left and there's gonna right here I I have a bit of an issue but I'm not sure how I can solve it I don't think I will be able to but uh, basically right here is the bridge to go out here and I don't know what I'm gonna put out in here but at the same time I couldn't find any other way to bridge that little gap that's got to be bridged besides putting one foundation and I'm gonna put one put three so it looks a little even a little more even uh, if I put too many it goes all the way out here but if I put just here it feels like why don't you go here put three three feels like a good number it's the same number I have out in front for my uh, entryway so that just kind of makes sense to me yeah that's uh, the Library of Alexandria. I'm gonna put on the roof, and then we're gonna deck and then decorate it, and I'll show you kind of what it looks like in the end. Okay, so I did finally finish building the place. Um, here, we'll take you on the grand tour with all the uh, things inside and everything. It's just got a Megaloceros. I think I'm gonna switch this one for a uh, Utyrannus at some point or something else similar to what I have upstairs just because I'm not entirely sure if I like that one and I probably need a couple more on this wall but you know it's nice then up here is where I actually have most of my stuff I got a, a gotcha dermis a freaking kangaroo couple uh, owls these are actually the two owls I have right now that I'm using with uh, their mutations and shit um, this one was my freaking X, X Rex, but instead of looking flaming volcano y, he looks just blue as a dermis, which is sad. And then I got a, a thorny dragon I killed, and a, 
this one uh, just a freaking saber tooth uh, these ones I'm a little disappointed in I don't mind the scorpion but the snake does not look that good as a dermis I don't like it go then you can kind of you can walk right outside got a beautiful view of the freaking ocean and everything uh, and on the other side still have no idea what I'm gonna do with this I'm probably gonna put some crafting stations or something around here I just I don't know I don't know there's gonna be something up here but I don't know what it'll be will it be a I was hoping to do a garden of some kind would be nice but the problem is I can't really get um without mods or something else I can't think of any way to make a to make a garden really up here I mean I could get a bunch of water and without also irrigating pipes I don't have any irrigating pipes so that's also a big problem I have to do that in a weird way but anyway just take a shortcut down oh forgot the very bottom really nothing there but <laughs> it's basically just a foundation I might end up moving um, this thing right here my feeding trough to over here so it's more centered amongst things um, but beyond that, um, yeah, oh, I can go, and go, uh, open, up, close, and there you go, right back up in the, up in here, I'm actually having another one right over here, might, another one of these, might, right over here might be cool, just a way to kind of block out, so, can't really see that there's a, a freaking, trap door right there there we go and take a uh, Barney out and just kind of show you the there we go there's the uh, library of Alexandria I think it looks pretty cool maybe some expansions need put on it in certain places might even put a couple more uh, artifacts on the top uh, upper area of the freaking of the library there you go uh, also the reason I call it the library of Alexandria is because this is basically what I nicknamed the Nile because it's literally a, just a river with a bunch of crocodiles and shit on next to a kingdom and Alexandria is the uh, kingdom founded by or founded by Alexander the Great on the Nile whose most famous uh, place was the Library of Alexandria, hence Library of Alexandria, even though it's more of a museum. Maybe I should call it the Cairo Museum, but I don't like that name as much. Alexandria sounds cooler. There's a few things that though I do need to do at some point, probably change out these foundations at least for uh, stone, just to ma make the outside match a bit better, but beyond that, it's pretty much just done. <laughs> 